Now, this right here, shallowing the golf club, is probably one of the most challenging but absolutely necessary things we need in a golf swing because it's what helps you have that club maintain good club path, but more than anything, it helps you use your body and turn through the golf ball. If you aren't shallowing it, you're not going to be able to use your body and have a consistent, stable club face and good power. So, like I said, challenging to get into a golf swing, but this is actually an extremely simplistic drill but extremely effective at the same time. This is what my coach back in the day used with me to be able to get myself to shallow the golf club. Because when we shallow the golf club, we will quite often have a shallow angle of attack with that. Now, we can have a steep angle of attack and a shallow shaft, just like we can have a steep shaft and a shallow angle of attack, it's possible. But if we can work on a drill that shallows out an angle of attack quite aggressively, we would generally start to develop a shallower shaft. That's why we see players with driver actually have sometimes a little bit shallower of a shaft than they would do with irons. Now, look what I've done here. I have put this ball up off a high tee. I've only got an eight iron out here. So this is good. It's, guys, this is so simplistic. Way more simple than stuff that I have on my channel, but it really does work because I've done this myself. Now, I've got this off a driver tee height. You can have an eight iron. So for me to hit this ball with an eight iron out of normal eight iron ball position, which is middle of the stance, I'm naturally going to be shallowing the golf club more to, to be able to achieve a little bit better of an angle attack to be able to hit this. Now, you can hover the golf club doing it. You can have it off the ground. I'd recommend starting it with it a little bit hovered. But you're going to see straight away, so I'm going to hover as well because this is making me nervous history, I'll tell you. So here we go. Let's hit it. So, a little bit thinny, but that's to be expected off that. But you can see, nice shallow shaft. So by me just a trying to achieve, hitting and nipping this ball up off this tee, I'm naturally gonna start to shallow it just because of it. Again, let's do it. That's a better strike on it, nice shallow shaft. If I get steep, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be very hard to hit this ball. I was about to say, let's try it, but I'm probably gonna hit, go underneath and hit the top of my net, but let's give it a go anyway, why not? So let's steepen that shaft in transition. It's gonna be very hard to hit this ball up off the tee. So I'm gonna really steepen it, vertical shaft. Went right underneath it. I was a bit scared of that one, to be perfectly honest. Now, difficult. If that ball was just going normally, I chopped down on it. Didn't go dead straight up, but it was a very steep angle of attack. It would have been a terrible shot on the driving range. So just sit there, clip some balls up off a high tee. There we go. Simple, don't have to think of technical stuff. Sometimes in golf swing, you don't need to think of technical things if you want to achieve something. Now, again, shallow angle attack isn't the same as a shallow shaft, but a shallow shaft can easily create a shallow angle attack. So that's why this drill will work quite nicely for it. Like I said, it worked nicely for me. Give it a good go. If you're fed up of working on overly, overly technical stuff all the time, thinking of technical stuff, want to just something simple, want something to shut your brain off, maybe put some music on in your ears and just have a nice relaxing rain session. I don't think a relaxing rain session ever really happens, to be honest, does it? But if you want to get close to it, this is going to be a great one. So if you enjoyed this video, of course, click that like button if you want more golf instruction just like this. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So tee that ball up, tee it high, you'll start shallowing it and you look at your swing afterwards.